Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I want to look at a couple of mods that improve the look and feel and, well, atmosphere of Kerbal Space Program. So, if you look, this is a more or less standard spacecraft orbiting a more or less standard moon, but it is no moon that you have seen before in the Kerbal Space Program, unless, of course, you've already downloaded the Universe Replacer mod, because the Universe Replacer mod, mod lets you modify all the textures in the game, or at least a number of significant textures. And here I am flying over an orangey, yellowish, sulfur-stained hellhole of a planet, or moon, which we call Tylo. It is not, in fact, Io, but Tylo and Io kind of sound similar, I guess, except for the T at the start. I mean, uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so somebody put the Io texture on Tylo, and it does look particularly nice. Now, you might have caught a glimpse a moment earlier of the new Jewel, Jupiter, uh, sorry, Jewel texture. <laughs> uh, this is from a texture pack um, created by Sido, who's a French developer, I think. Now, the plugin itself, Universe Replacer, just includes the plugin that lets you change the planet textures. It doesn't actually include all the texture packs and you have to download those separately so let's just take a quick look around at the other textures we've got here just tab through the different planets moho is looking pretty sweet and you know it's up to the the texture developers with what they do to them i guess that's different but i don't go to eve often enough to remember go to a different kind of eve uh, Gilly is definitely looking pretty sweet here, with kind of, looks like frost or something on the surface. Kerbin has had a, a nice pass done on it here, where it's a lot easier to see those mountains, so you can figure out where not to try landing your spacecraft when returning from the moon. Uh, the moon, well, uh, it looks very cratered. <laughs> Minmus really looks a whole lot nicer, and it just has a lot more definition to those highlands now. And uh, Duna, um, ooh yes, definitely, oh wow, you can really see those mountains there now, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Ike, Ike maybe, maybe not, hard to tell. And Drez definitely, ooh look at that, nice big rays in that crater there, huh? Jewel of course, magnificent cloud, turbulent clouds making it look much more like a gas giant, except that it's green. Lathe... Maybe, maybe not, I can't tell. <laughs> uh, oh, definitely Val. Ooh, look at Val. Isn't that looking kind of beautiful there? And uh, this is Tylo here, once again, where I was. Bop. Uh, Bop still looks like a brown potato. Paul. Ooh, craters and everything there. And Elo still... I think ELO is pretty much the same at this time. And we're back to our ion-powered space probe. Now there's another thing you might be hearing here is the, if I come back out, you can hear all these sound effects. So this is a separate mod called Chatterer, <clears throat> which adds basically a whole bunch of audio. Oh yeah, also note the constellation of Orion rising over the horizon right now. This is a replaced, this is also a replacement skybox and somebody went and did a really nice version of the whole sky survey basically. So you can actually see uh, Orion there and you can zoom in quite a lot on this. Anyway, back to Chatterer, Chatterer adds a whole bunch of sound effects so that you can see and so you can hear wonderful things to go along with your newfound visuals. Uh, the way it works is you have well, for satellites, you have three different beepers that run at different speeds. You can adjust the periodicity, you can make them random, which dragging them off to this side makes them more frequent uh, when they're random and less frequent. But then when you change them to precise, dragging them this way makes them less frequent. Uh, needs a bit of work on the UI, I think. There's a nice SSTV signal kicking in there. So yeah, you can you can see what the different beeps are by saying setting it to beep every second. There's one beep. There's the other one. Beep three. Four. Five. Oh, six. Yes, oxygen low. <laughs> uh, that's another one. Nine. Dan. Oh, that sounds, that sounds like the heartbeat. 
<laughs> Sorry, your heart is failing. That's for the that's for the the flight surgeon, right? And you can of course have it beep out random stuff every ten seconds or so if you want to. Just be surprised. Yeah, there's also SSTV, which uh, you know, slow scan TV, which you may have heard. While that's running, let's uh, go back to Kerbin and we'll take a look at this crew of this space station here called Mir, which will be a terrible approximation of it because I didn't read the manual when I put it together. But it should be good enough for our purposes. Yes, here we go. We have Mir Space Station. And we actually have chatter. We have audio chatter from uh, recorded from different things. There's audio chatter from Apollo 11, STS-1, and Russian. You can add in whatever ones you like, but these are the default ones. Obviously, Russian is the best one for this one, so I should do that. <laughs> and we just hit the key and they can talk. Ah, uh -huh -huh. yes. Let's take a look inside this thing. We got... Ah, it looks like a bunch of nuts floating around. Handhold, the Russian hat there, very, very good. Keep warm at night. Just, uh... Make sure you put it on before you put on your spacesuit. Oh yeah, a couple of um, couple of dudes sitting out eating their canned tuna or whatever. Oh, he's in quite a good mood for once. Last time I did this, they were screaming at each other. And that's us, I guess. They're all wearing standard spacesuits, but you know we can we can go on EVA and take a look at another thing. Here we go, Jebediah Kerman on EVA in a Russian spacesuit. Yes, you don't just change the planets around, you can change all sorts of assets. And adding a spacesuit that uh, is Soviet designed, that's uh, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> now this is what I need to do, I need to do that. Yes, there, now I can see is the front of his spacesuit. <laughs> wow, look at that sun! It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of people making spacesuits right now. You can replace the heads as well, and it's possible to have different kerbals with different spacesuits, different heads. The only thing is that they're totally random at this time. I saw somebody making a really good texture uh, suit that matches Commander Shepard from, uh, obviously, from Mass Effect. But, uh, you know, in my mind, the best Commander Shepard is the one, the, the, the female Shepard, voiced by Jennifer Hale. She, far better actor, actress. Yeah. <laughs> and since all the Kerbals are male, I have to settle for a, a less impressive Shepard. <laughs> but yes, anyway, uh, this was all silly, but I, I hope you're interested. The mods are Chatterer and Universe Replacer. There is much to be done here, much to be played around with, and it certainly improves your day a whole lot. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.